All right, what's up, everybody? Rev Sauce 9. Make sure to rate, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for the latest and greatest that comes to my channel. I told you guys I'm going to be doing uploaded content this weekend because I'm busy playing Call of Duty. Um, you know, the World Series is happening. Different sporting events are happening around L.A., and I've kind of been focusing on that. I know USC is playing as I'm recording this video. Um, I just want to do a quick SmackDown review. And then I want to address my audience real quick about a few things that happened uh, this morning or that's been happening all this week. So anyway, let's get into talking about SmackDown. Triple H comes out, basically address Randy Orton. Good segment. And basically, Paul Levesque said, I'm not going to save you this time, Randy. I can't save you. And you better be watching your back. I like that. They're kicking off SmackDown hot. I like that. They needed to. Something fresh. A lot of you have been saying WWE's getting a little repetitive and stale. A lot of my audience is saying that. WWE Today literally came out. Paul Levesque pushing the stops. Basically telling Randy Orton, look, I'll give you your match at Crown Jewel. But here's the deal. Here, here's the deal. That I'm not going to be able to protect you like I used to. This is going to be on you. Okay. The other thing that I liked tonight was the Usos coming together. That was predictable. I really thought it was going to be with Jey Uso having the Intercontinental belt. I guess they're keeping that exclusively to Raw, and that's going to be Braun Breaker. Uh, it seems like LA Knight may be losing the U.S. title. I'm reading articles and stuff like that tonight. They turned him heel, kind of. A BFT to Camelo Hayes, a BFT to uh, Andrade. It just didn't make any sense. I didn't really like the segment, and they're kind of botching him now. And again, like I said, they have no faith in LA Knight. LA Knight will lose that title eventually. And I told you guys, probably it's going to be to Jey Uso, most likely. They'll probably reward Jey Uso with that title, unless the bloodline storyline, excuse me, continues. Kevin Owens, again, like I said, um, like I said before, that was a good segment. Carmelo Hayes and Andrade in a no contest because, like I said, interference from L.A. Knight. BFTs all around. L.A. Knight wearing the referee shirt. Go figure. Uh, Naomi defeats Candice LeRae in help with Bailey. Bailey came out the, uh, helping uh, Candice LeRae because Indy Hartwell got involved. Again, I'm not a big fan of Candice LeRae. Yes, she won the Speed Championship. She's still, still too green. She's kind of in that ballpark of a Chelsea Green. I think Chelsea Green should be further along than she is. But again, Naomi gets a win. That's all that matters to me. Naomi should be getting easy dubs and moving on and uh, help with Bailey. Maybe tag team uh, championship run. Maybe Jay Cargill and them face each other, maybe. Maybe. Uh, Cody Rhodes and Gunther face to face. Gunther basically destroys Cody Rhodes basically this time around. Uh, we had um, Vinci come out. Was it Vinci or was it Luck? Kaiser, sorry. It's Kaiser. I get confused between the two. Kaiser came out and basically helped Gunther beat the shit out of him. And basically, that was that segment. And it was a good segment. Don't get me wrong. Um, again. We had something to do with damage control, a uh, pretty much a vignette there. Motor Machine Guns, Alex Shelley and uh, Chris Saban, three matches in. You know, you guys complain that you want AEW to have, you know, these three matches and then somebody wins a title, right? Well, they just did, WWE just proved you guys right. They gave the titles to Chris Saban and Alex Shelley right off the rip. To those casual WWE slash AEW fans, let me give you a clap because you got what you wanted. You got the belts on them immediately because, you know, we can't let things brew. Ha -ha. We can't let people build up momentum and steam. We got to give them titles right off the rip. But it, the reason for it is because they got to further this bloodline storyline crap that finally they're pushing the switch. Roman Reigns is not getting beaten up. Maybe Triple H is listening to me for a change. Literally, no joke. Literally. Anyway, this was a good match. Back and forth. All the Usos showed up, beating up the other bloodline. Back and forth. Solo Sokoa basically saying, oh, you're going to go against us. And then pretty much that's how it went. Motor Machine Guns win. One, two, three with Skull and Bones. That's how SmackDown ends. Good show. Honestly, really 
a really good show. I'm not going to complain. I would say this is a uh, I would say this is a solid C plus, C plus plus, average, watchable, good, better than last week. Triple H has to stay consistent like this. You have to hit homers. You cannot sit here. And I shouldn't be seeing articles of Triple H wanting to walk out of the company because he doesn't like creative direction. I understand it. I get it. But at the end of the day, WWE has to stay consistent between all brands. They are losing viewerships. Things are kind of down. They got to do more consistent booking like this. They have to. No, like this is a quick review. Like I said, I'm going to get to game streaming tonight. But I want to make something very clear here to my audience. Real quickly, I want to address my audience. You guys got to chill lax. Chill. Pretty much chill. In my streams, chill. Just because somebody says something indifferent about AEW or WWE, Maple Leaf Wrestling, TNA, doesn't mean I need to go make response videos on every single person. And I'm going to stay in my lane going forward. Like, I'm going to do news videos. I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to record a lot of gaming footage on top of those news videos. I am officially just going to stay in my lane going forward. I, there's just no need for me at this point to go after anybody. I don't need to. Unless, you know, what happened over last week, somebody threatening to take my YouTube channel down. Then, yeah, I will roast and I will cook somebody. But some of you guys want me to do things that I don't want to do personally. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm not willing to go after big names just to get my name off of them. It's just not me. And maybe I gave the wrong impression, but I sat back and I thought about things. It's not okay. And I don't. I want to lead by example. I want to be an example for the IWC, YWC, what not to do. You know, those people want to act professional. They want to be on the AEW hate train. Hey, more power to them. They want to do states of the unions and be idiots. More power to them. They want to go back on the stuff that they have said. Hey, cool, more power. There's a lot of those AEW hate channels that are just doing it for clicks and views. I know it. You know it. We all know it. The fake shit, you know, let them be fake. You know what I mean? I'm going to continue to do what I do. I'm still going to give you guys what I feel is right for me, for my channels, just about a little bit of everything. And to be honest with you, I'm just going to do me. That's it. There's nothing more I need to say in this video. You guys just got to chill. Like, this is my channel. I'm going to do what feels right for me, my community, the main people that want to be here, for everybody that comes to watch. I'm just going to focus on the things. And gaming is my main passion before wrestling, before sports, and other things. Like, gaming, tech, and other things are my main passions before wrestling. And I came here to fill a void within the IWC, YWC. Years and years and years ago, I stopped covering wrestling because I got tired of the ignorancy. And now being back, there's a lot of ignorant people that talk wrestling. And then you got people in the IWC, YWC that listen to that and regurgitate that shit. And it's sad. And I'm here for the ones that want to be those intelligent, you know, wrestling fans that want to talk wrestling, that want to get serious. A lot of you do. And don't stop being you. Come in, hang out, chill with me and watch some wrestling or, you know, Watch the watch alongs with me and watch wrestling alongside of me. Come on out and keep talking. I love you guys when I'm streaming Call of Duty or Destiny or First Descendants or whatever. And you guys want to talk my ear off about wrestling. Keep doing that. Talk sports with me. I love it. I love it. Stop with this whole hesitation and panicking and apologizing to me stuff, man. Like you guys last couple days have been wild in my YouTube chat. Stop it. You guys don't need to apologize to me all the time. And don't feel sorry because I'm changing my narrative on what I want to do with my channels. You know, I'm just becoming more mature. And I felt that I was being a little immature. You know what I mean? So that was it. I just want to be more professional and I just want to do things for fun. I want to get back to what I was doing and what you guys come to love me for. I don't think you guys come here to listen to me roast people and reactionary content this and reactionary content that. You know, if somebody makes a video on me, sure, I'll react to it and I'll address those things. But at the end of the day, I'm just going to continue to do what I do for the fun of it. I'm not making anything at this. I'm having fun. Anyway, one day I will. We'll see when we get there. I'm just going to enjoy the ride and what I do. Anyway, my name is RevSauce9. Hope you enjoyed this quick review. I will see you guys in the streams. Okay? SmackDown was literally a 7.0 for me. I enjoyed it. C++ all around. 
um, the Bloodline, uh, Motor Machine Guns, a few other things I enjoyed. So my name is Rev Sauce. Again, be cool in my chats. Be cool. Be blessed. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.